Hello guys, another ship I always check out during the expo because right now, I mean I'll be honest, it's the cutest ship, it's one of my favorite ships, I would love to make this a daily driver, but right now it's about useless, is the Terrapin, um, love the ship, love how it looks, but um, I mean, once the armor's in the game, physical is armor in the game, it's supposed to be very chunky. Uh, but right now, it's just you can't really use it for much or anything. The scanning mechanic is not in the game. Uh, stealth mechanic is not in the game. But man, do I love this ship. And what I always surprised is, I mean, this is all chunky armor. armor and the ship looks big. But I'm always surprised of how little room there is inside. Uh, let's here. Let's check. It out. Look how beefy those doors are, with that armor. I'm just gonna check it out in here. And what I wish that these stairs here. Let's let's turn the ship on, so it actually um, get some light in here. Definitely, you can feel how thick the hull walls are. Let's, let's turn this thing on so we get some light here, hopefully. That chair sitting there looks pretty ominous. I mean, yeah, you just have two badgers. So base, I mean, that's it's basically cutter ornament. Ornament, rather. Um, here, let's turn this thing on. Really cool. Love how it looks. Love the engines. Um... Look at that. VTOL capability. Tr thrusters rotate. You got your scanning dish. But here, let's get back in here for a second. So, what you see is what you get. Like I said, very thick armor. Very thick, very thick um, hull, everything else. Not a lot of space, as you would think. Your entrance. I wish this chair, because right now this going to scanning, scanning chair doesn't really do much because obviously mechanic is literally not in the game. So it's not like you can do anything with it. Um, but what I wish is that you could actually, I mean. They, they could make it where this chair would just how it is right now would literally just swivel up or something out of the way to kind of make this a little bit more roomy I mean you got you got component housing in here if you need to swap it out and that kind of stuff and so so I guess we can't open this the radar thing can we open these? Nope. Eh. Yeah. I mean, you got your bed. Um, that's about a small bathroom. And that's it. I mean, space for weapons, space for an armor suit. And that that's about it. Um, not a lot of really... No cargo area, unless you want to just put random boxes in here. No cargo area, no real utility... Um, it's not like you're gonna be fighting much. But, um, chunky ship, though, but I'm still in love with it. And, um, let's see how much quantum fuel we have. I mean, decent amount of uh, quantum fuel, nothing ridiculous. It's not like you're gonna be going from, uh, some sense without refueling. You're gonna, like, if you go to Port Olazar, probably, or Area 18, you're gonna have to refuel before before going back um, I think for the ship that's meant to stay out in the frontier and explore it should probably have more quantum fuel than this um, and like I said this my opinion might change once the whole cartography or exploring or charting scanning mechanic is in the game it can take um, advantage of this radar dish um, that's on top of the terrapin, but for right now, it's it's kind of useless. I love this mechanic, how it goes. Look at that. 
here and how it all closes up. Isn't that cool? Like a turtle shell. Look at that. Out. Everything's out. And then everything's in. Like a little turtle shell. I always thought that was so cool. But it is decently quick for what it is, too. Pretty. I always found this to be very pretty. Very pretty ship, too. But, um, right now, though, it's just not much, not much to it. Um, would really kind of make a bad daily driver, um, especially for the cost. Uh, this ship, as of this point, for somebody that's starting out, doesn't offer really anything more than uh, Drake Cutter does, or an Avenger. Um, I mean, Cutter, and uh, Cutter at least has a cargo, you know, wouldn't put cargo and stuff, dedicated one, but, um, still a cool ship. And I guess if you compare it to the Cutter, it would be a good, I mean, you're gonna be paying for functionality that's not there, um, but, you know, unless you just really like the ship. And I do, but at this point, it's, it's kind of just kind of useless. Um, once the armor system is in, it's supposed to be very, very well-protected ship, but obviously that's not ha that's not in right now. I mean, we'll do a quick short flight around, um, because I always... I mean, I love the Terrapin, always have, always will, but I just cannot justify the purpose of getting one. I mean, I would love to have this as a ship that you can explore and stay out in a, you know, in a, in a frontier forever, but it just doesn't have all the functionality. It kind of wants to be a daily driver, but yet it's kind of a specialized specialized ship at the same time so it just kind of has dual dual personality there still love it I mean look at everything from the gear um, from the gear from all the panels just screams like a turtle ship I mean tough, impenetrable, it's just not a lot of, not a lot of usefulness to it right now, I mean, like I said, still doesn't change the fact that I love it, let's get out of it here for a second, in the sun, and see how it is, A lot of tough to lens shifts with this perspective, but it's okay, we can manage. Let's see here, it's always kind of pretty, pretty out here. Yeah, I only have the flight suit on, but that's okay. We're not gonna be, we're not gonna be out for that long. Gonna unlock? Okay. Really pretty ship. Man, that's gorgeous out, ain't it? Yes, 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 I know it's cold. We'll be alright. Oh my, look at that. Everything from the landing gear. I mean, Anvil really, really made this stuff. I mean, you get an impression that you can survive in some very, very harsh environments. Um, but it's kind of confusing. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of ornament. Um, just has two badgers. Um, so for right now, it's just not a lot of usefulness on this ship, but, um, one day I will have one, just because Terrapin's always gonna be near dear to my heart, but for right now, it's just kinda not worth spending the money on it, in-game or otherwise. 
but still really kind of I mean let's just let me look at these panels um, all these bumpers kind of even with the canopy here to absorb an impact I mean it's just kind of scream like a tough ship I always liked it just want to kind of show you guys really quick let's kind of fly back nothing spe I mean it's not a speed demon nothing special about it decent maneuverability for the ship for what it is I just like to take it out every expo and fly around um, just because I, t I think it looks really cool what do you guys think I mean have you have you kind of tried the Terrapin at all or is that not something that you guys are really interested in I think it looks really cool And I just love the color of the engines, engine exhaust rather. I always found it to be really, really pretty. Oh, my dogs, my dogs are not finding something. Yo, what's, what's going on here? I have lost all control. Hello. What is going on? Okay, that was uh that was a little weird. My dogs are not liking something outside. Alright, let's go here. Let's get back to the hangar. Should be just around here. If I if I recall correctly. Pretty ship. I mean, would love to use the Raider dish, but that mechanic's probably not going to be in. I mean, Pyro will be in before that mechanic, unfortunately. I mean, stealth mechanic, scanning mechanic, charting, discovery mechanic. That's uh, we're going to have to be quite patient for all that to come in. That's funny, look at that. Even in Atmo, you want to accelerate past 170. I mean, if you pitch down, it will. But in a straight flight, it will not accelerate more than about 170 past its ACM speed. Alright, let's see here. Let's talk to our friends in ATC. Yes, yes, sir. I don't see where my landing bay is, though. Oh, there it is. I guess we're gonna do this hangar today, huh? That's okay. We can do the poor man's hangar. Park in the back of the house. Landing gear. Oh come on, don't don't be choppy on me. Nice and easy. There we go. I mean, I love the way this looks. 
chair would swing in and maybe give you a little kitchenette in here. That, I mean, because you are meant to stay out of, uh, on this ship for a long time. You, I mean, you have a tiny microwave. That's it. This this ship just needs a gold gold standard pass on it. And I think if they're done correctly, it's gonna be really cool. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed a quick video. I just can't resist taking the Terrapin out each time I can on a free fly event. Because it's a cool little ship. Take care guys. Bye.